What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account, you click it, you become a member. All you got to do is try to recommend movies and music and trailers for me to react to, so click the link. Now, with that being said, we're here today to give you guys a little bit of, you know, that pop culture news. Now, T-Rail was on at the end of the day yesterday, and he gave a very interesting comment. Um, apparently, T-Rail uh contacted odm slim he saw the video of that odm slim put out about the the t-rail and uh c-max situation and he decided to reach out to him and talk to him now the cool thing about it is that during this process t-rail talks about possibly interviewing odm slim so let me show you guys the video then i'll give you more of my commentary at the end let's get it on with the <clears throat> It's still going on with the little C-Max shit. It was going crazy. I'm like, this shit is wild. But I only brought that up because <clears throat> one video that I did see uh, with um, his ex, what is his name? ODM, ODM Slim. ODM, ODM Slim. Slim. Sorry. I, I've seen that shit. And I was just talking to you. How I'm going to forget your name. ODM Slim. I did see his video and I did respect a lot of shit that he was saying. And take. If you guys aren't familiar with the ODM Slim video, what he does is he basically says that, yeah, C-Mac was wild, like wilding out a little bit. C-Mac needs to be more in tune about getting his money and like less on the hood beef shit. Um, but then also uh, he pointed at T-Rell and said, but you know what, T-Rell, you kind of guilty in a situation too because you have been poking at him. You've been saying things in your interview when you're interviewing people from your own neighborhood. And, you know, and you always ask them about him and you know it's going to be like a negative response. Take it upon myself being a real nigga. I hit the nigga. It's powerful though. You know what I'm saying? So y'all might see a nigga talk to this nigga here. We gonna see it up. We gonna try to see you. DP, 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 DP. But yeah, we might chop it up. I'm gonna talk to him. He, he, he with it. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was is wrong. Was, but I felt like what he was saying was just really, you know, it was cool. It was respectful. And I fuck with it. Was that one, would that one might be a little too close to home? Um, that one is gonna be fifty times more crazier than yeah, J Stone. Stone shit. Yeah, see, J Stone and T Rails neighborhoods don't get along at all, but T Rails and ODM Slim's neighborhoods are like immortal enemies. Yeah, that's the word. Which that, I'm asking because yeah. I know obviously Juvenile Hard, you know the, the history and shit like that. But that's why I'm asking, was that it where where you like kind of like now? Like yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, like a, that's I, no, no, no. I, yeah. I get it. I, I'm asking. That's what I'm I, asking. I had texted him. And he texted me back, and I was like, "I ain't even to be texting you, nigga." And all. I'm like, "What's the deal, nigga?" You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's the deal? We chopped it up. Blah blah blah. He, I understand what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He understood what he's saying. He was like, "Shit, yeah, let's chop it down, nigga. It's nothing." I'm like, "For sure." I'm I, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm real proud of you for doing shit like this. Yeah, yeah man. can I be? That's nah, because y'all don't understand, bro. If if nobody in the camera knows. Y'all joke around with this shit, but where T-Rail's from, like, certain individuals, they ain't never supposed to talk, no, I get cross it. paths, none of that shit. And it takes strong-minded individuals to sit there and chop it up like that, bro. If you a level-headed motherfucker, I want to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? This is true. Saying, and it's just crazy. Like, when I spoke to him or, you know what I'm saying, I, and I was looking at all these, like, you know, uh, YouTube pages and all of this shit, and I was running into a gang of neighborhood niggas that rap, and I was like... Damn, these niggas hard. You know how crazy it is for him to actually admit that uh, if he was like a super active gang member. Um, then he wouldn't obviously be saying this. But um, the truth be told, you know, sometimes you got to give people their pro props, even when you're supposed to hate them for some strange reason, because y'all just from different blocks. But it is what it is. You know, that's just the politics of the area. Like nigga, it's a gang, and nigga, you know what I'm saying? And like, and I know some of them niggas probably wouldn't hit me or nothing like that. But if y'all want to hit me, nigga, hit me. You feel me? Like, that's crazy that he's actually giving them an avenue to actually release and talk about their music and giving them a platform to probably you know get bigger on. Because let's face it, dude, No Jumper has four million subscribers, and that's putting your face out there to the world. Cause I don't know none of you motherfuckers. So if y'all want to hit me, hit me. You know and that's saying? genuine chop it down. too. He ain't yeah. lying about that. We could definitely chop it down. You a real and big see person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, this is where I'm at. This is what you got to use this platform for, for the greater good of this shit. Like we ain't finna be sitting around here 
being mad and doing all this shit and dissing niggas and doing all that weirdo ass shit nigga you feel me like niggas is trying to fuck with their family take care of their kids nigga go on vacation do it up you know what i'm saying fuck with bitches if you're single you feel me and do that you feel me we ain't supposed to be sitting here doing bullshit you feel me so yeah clap it up with tiny cuz that's real that's real dope man that's what i like to hear man yes sir that's still what I like grimy to hear. still grimy but yeah still- all right, there we have it. Yes, T-Roll is set, trying to set up an interview with ODM Slim. Let's see if it happens. If he does, that's going to be very big for like the LA gang culture scene because these are two people that are like two areas that are considered immortal enemies coming together to sit down and have a conversation and a dialogue. And it's like, if you could get more people to see that, you know, it's, a, it's something bigger than all of this beef money, power, wealth, you know, and, and being able to take you, your family, your friends, and everybody with you out of this situation, put you in a better situation. And it's like, if you can do that and spare the youth of the future, then why not, you know? So um, hats off to T-Rail for doing that. I think that's, um, I think that was a really big thing for him to do. And also ODM Slim, that's a really big thing for him to do because both of these people are putting, uh, a lot of things on the line. Uh, there will be lashback probably from their areas. There will be lashback from their neighborhoods, probably people in their neighborhood or their gangs won't uh, respect or agree with what they're doing, but they, they gonna do it. So <clears throat> let's see if it happens. Let's see if it comes in a fruitation, but you know, hey, I'm, I, I can't wait to see that interview. Uh, so that's a clip. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop it in the comment section down low, below. Don't forget to freaking hit the subscribe button on the way out. You are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Hope you're having a magnificent day, y'all. Adios.